Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a little vlog today. I'm home from work, I'm off from work. I had a doctor's appointment this morning and then I just ran a few errands and now I'm home. It's disgusting in New York. And we're gonna do a little meal prep. I'm gonna film um, another YouTube video and I'm just trying to remain positive and upbeat and in a good mood because I have been a little depressed recently and I just like need to snap out of it. So yeah, and I haven't done a vlog in a really long time. So let's get started. So I literally just started meal prepping and I'm making buffalo chicken in the crock pot. And I have to say, like, how did I make such a mess in maybe less than 10 minutes like it's i'm just constantly messy it's really ridiculous but i just found this recipe on pinterest though i am notorious for not following recipes because i just feel like i know what i want to do but it's just a few chicken cutlets some cream cheese salt pepper garlic powder onion powder and hot sauce and a little bit of chicken broth to like make it a little mushy um, in the crock pot for like on high for a few hours. I literally just eyeball everything. It's actually so bad. But I didn't want to put too much cream cheese in it. I only used like I think like four ounces because I wasn't following the recipe as I usually, as I should. So we'll see how it comes out. I'm not concerned. This is much better. Fresh, clean, organized not done meal prepping yet but we'll get to that i have not showed you around the apartment mainly because i haven't really felt settled yet and i also don't know if i wanted like a full tour of my home on the internet so i am just going to show you the little things that i did to the living room recently that really is making it feel more like home and like the style that I wanted. So let me turn you around and we'll get to it. So this is my living room. So I have my pink couch from Wayfair, my little gallery wall, which if you've been following me for a while, you know I had these frames except for the big gold one in the middle um, when I lived with my mom and I just like swapped them out. So now we just have it like very girly and nice. I have my gold coffee table from Wayfair and just some coffee table books and then my um, press for champagne bell, little Melzy illustra uh, illustration uh, coaster that I got when I went to the Bryant Park. I think, yeah, when I went to her booth in Bryant Park and then I got that Mel Z um, illustration when I, I think also in Bryant Park because I was also in Boston and I saw her booth at the um, snowport. So then over here, this is like one of the little changes that I think made a big difference. And it's gold candlesticks from Amazon because my coworker got me, we did a little secret Cupid at work and my coworker got me these like ombre candles. Now two came in a pack. Um, so I bought the candlesticks and then I was like, I really like these. I wanna use the third candlestick because two candles came in a pack but three candlesticks. So I found the exact candlesticks on Amazon. So, I mean candles on Amazon. So now I just have it sitting there and I just feel like it gives a really nice like vintage feel and it adds some height to the room which I think is really important so I really love that and then I hung curtains and I had been wanting to hang curtains since I moved in because I just felt like this wall was really bare and I didn't know what to do with it and I also wanted to cover all the wires that I had for like my internet and my tv so we um hang we hung curtains like a few weeks ago and I just feel like they've made all the difference. I got the can the candle rod, curtain rod from Amazon and then as well as the shears, which I'll link everything down below. So that definitely made a big difference. But I think one of the major things is this crystal lamp that I got from Wayfair. Now I wanted a lamp in this corner all 
like since I moved in, but just wasn't sure what kind. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this corner, which we'll get into all of this. But I knew that I wanted something other than the ceiling fan light because like the lighting is really good all throughout, but this room can get a little dark. Um, and I don't love turning this on all the time. So I wanted something cute. And I think this crystal lamp is like insane. Like it's so freaking pretty. Like look at the way the light catches. I love it. And I have um, a Bluetooth bulb in there that I can control with my phone, which is really nice. Um, and I can change colors and stuff like that. So that is like, all of these things came together within like a week and I just feel so much more at peace with this room. So over here I have two little like wicker baskets and then obviously I hide all my cords back here. I have my vacuum charger, the lamp, phone chargers, device chargers, everything. So in this basket I have my weighted blanket and then that's my hand massager and um, an LED skin mask um led light mask and i kind of consider this corner like my little wellness corner because i have that stuff i have my weighted blanket and then under here i have heating pads my bala bangles my acupressure mat um, an air purifier and dehumidifier that I'll turn back on once it gets hot, more heating pads, um, and then my Theragun is in there too. And I just cover it with this cute little blanket that I feel like adds some texture and like you can't even see it. Um, so it's like my little wellness corner, which I love. And then over here, I just have my walking pad, which I bring out um, when I walk on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I think I might just like leave it here um and then like when I have company I just slide it under the under the couch but I have my tv with my fireplace tv stand and then here I also really love it's like my little corner nook which I have my target boucle chair with some cream accents and then I really love this corner I have nesting boxes that are filled with like odds and ends Vogue magazines, and then my candle warmer, which I also have been loving. I I love candles, but I have also realized that I'm a little allergic or like I'm just very sensitive to scent. Um, and I also don't want to darken the white walls with the flame and like the soot from the candle. Um, so I just kind of swap out my candles in and out under this lamp. I mean, I do still burn them sometimes. Um, but this is Alone Time by Evil Queen, Amber La and Lavender, which is so nice. And I just love how this looks. Like, I love the nesting boxes. This is a new coffee table book that I just got. It's the Estee Lauder Asoline book. Um, I work for Estee Lauder and we've been like really deep, deep diving into the archives of the company and like how she started it and the first product. So, that was like a must purchase for me. So yeah, that's, and then over here, I just have a little ottoman that I've had for, like my mom had for, I, I had this growing up, like in living rooms in my mom's bedroom. I think it was in my bedroom at one point and she was going to get rid of it and I really didn't want her to. I wanted it. And so when we brought it here, I was like, oh, I'll just leave it here and then like, I'll figure out a place for it. And it's just been here ever since. I really like how... It kind of takes up this wall, but, and like adds a little bit of depth and texture to it. I don't know. I just really love the way it looks here. And then my bar cart, which I have been playing on and off with for the past few weeks. I have my Bridgerton books, which I ordered these from Illumicrate last summer when they were on pre-order. And like, it's so pretty. It's like the perfect decor piece, but also obviously I'll read them little bar cart, little some alcohol, champagne, this cute little corner with a candle and jewelry dishes. And then I have glasses, wine, more coffee table books, coasters, and then my record player that I got for Christmas. And I have Evermore, Evermore which I just bought at Target. I have 1989. I'm slowly building my Taylor Swift vinyl collection, so we shall see. So yeah, that's a little bit of what I've done to the living room over the past few weeks. 
Okay, kitchen's a mess again. I'm gonna make egg muffins for breakfast. I'm gonna make my lunch for work tomorrow. And I just got done making eggplant cutlets. So we're gonna have to clean prep clean. So let's see how it goes. So I just woke up from a nap. I look like a disaster. Not really a good idea since it's 5.30 and I'm going to have to sleep tonight. But I was really tired. I, I finished meal prepping and then I worked out. And then I just got so tired and I had to just like close my eyes. I don't even think I took like a real nap. I think... I was like pretty much in a twilight sleep the whole time, but yeah, my eyes look funny. I didn't, I mean, I did most of the stuff that I wanted to do today, but not everything. I still have to paint my nails. So I'm trying to come back to life. I am eating dinner and I'm, I'm eating my buffalo chicken that I made in the crock pot and actually it came out so good. It was a little water, a little watery, um, but it ended up, I, I can't even describe like what it tastes like. It tastes so good. It's not really like a buffalo chicken dip. It just kind of, ha it's not as dry, which is great. And this is what I did with it. I can't stop looking this way. That is such a problem I have when I'm vlogging. I want to look this way because that's where the camera is. But I, oh, I don't know why I always end up looking that way. Very strange. So I made a little taco. So in on the stove, I put the tortilla and then I put down some cheese, let it heat up and then put the mixture on top. And it's actually so good. It looks a little weird, but it was it's delicious. And now I'm just sitting here on my computer watching old episodes of Vanderpump Rules, getting ready to do my nails. I kind of gave myself a little bit of like a clean manicure before I buffed, filed, hydrated with cuticle serum. And now I will go in with Olive and June RP, which is like a nice little like neutral gray. And my se top coat and i'll use this as a base coat and we'll have ourselves a little bit of a night hi it's a few days later well not even it's like a week and a half later um but i wanted to just round out the blog with some pr that i've gotten lately let's get into the pr haul and then i'll see you in my next video oh. first up we have this box from Revive Skincare, which is like very expensive and very nice. And I'm so excited. I'm going to do some posts about it. But we have their Chin Contour Mask. It's an instant tightening peptide mask. Underneath, we have a hydration serum. Here, I have an eye cream. And then we have two moisturizers one um that has spf in it for the daytime and then one for the nighttime and i cannot wait to try everything out and then of course let you know how it is and it's just oh, i'm so excited then i got a package from borghese wake up to smoother more radiant skin it's an overnight resurfacing mask these are the claims, brighter skin, eliminated flaky skin, smoother skin, and smaller pores. So with AHA and BHA, I really needed something that is going to help with my texture on my skin. I just feel like my skin is not smooth anymore. Um, so I'm very excited to try that out. And then over here, I also have some CO Beauty masks. So we have a mid-brow mask. Um, there's, these are all supposed to help 
smooth out wrinkles. Um, so we have brow, eye, and smile line masks, and then we have a chest mask, which I'm very, very, very excited for this. Oh, and you could use these all up to 10 times, which is incredible. And then I just wanna see, this is kind of where I keep all my PR in this stony clover bag. Um, I got the Merit lipstick, the new matte lipsticks in classic. I haven't tried this yet and I really have to, but it's so pretty. I've like really been loving matte lips lately. Not like 2016 matte lips, but um, like a softer matte. And then I just have some Origins products um, that I have to make a video on. So we have a fortifying, fortifying emulsion. I have a dark spot corrector serum which i can't wait to try and then the um soothing treatment lotion so very excited for all of that and i think that that's kind of all the pr that i've gotten recently um but i'm very excited about everything